Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're going to be looking at the Power Automate Desktop Actions Create a Custom Object. Now the action we're actually going to be looking at is set variable because to create an object you're going to need to use the set variable action. If you haven't seen the video that I've previously created on this, then you should go ahead and look at that for a more in-depth analysis of it. However, we will be recapping some of that on this video. So to create an object, you need to use the percent sign, the curly bracket, single quotation mark, write the key name in, close the quotation mark, then use a colon, space, and then a single quotation mark, the value, colon, and then you're going to use the curly bracket and a percent sign again. So what does this actually look like then? So this is an example if we're using an employee ID with the value of 1234, comma, then we're going to be doing a name and then a name of Flow Joe. So how does this work on the set variable action? Well, as you can see here, there is um, an example of a set employee custom object variable name. So we've set the variable name first. And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the percent sign, the curly bracket, and then pass in the information that we want to do with the key and value object approach. So for the example, the first one is a single quotation mark, employee space ID, single quotation mark to close it, colon, space, single quotation mark, one, two, three, four, five, colon, and then comma, and then so on and so on, so that you can add as many as you want. So once you hit save, then that particular custom object will be created. So let's take a look at this on Power Automate Desktop then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate Desktop. What we're going to do then is we are going to add the set variable action. We can then change the name here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that to what we had it before, which was employee custom object. So we've got the employee custom object name for our variable. And in here we want to then do a percent sign, curly bracket, and then we can just do a space, curly bracket, percent sign. So everything in here is going to be our object. Now firstly we want to start with a key. So let's use employee ID, colon, to, make, to separate the key from the value. And then we are going to enter one, two, three, four, five, just as an example ID comma, and then we can start with another key value pair. So this time we'll do name, colon, and then we can do another one of flow Joe, and then, another, and then another comma, and so on and so on and so on. So what I'll do is I'll just fill some information in here just to give you an example of more information that you can actually put in. City of Vancouver, uh, comma again and then we could have a country of Canada and lastly we could say a uh, salary of 5,000 so if we hit save now what that will do is it will set the variable to that once it's run so as you can see over here on the right hand side the flow variable um, employee uh, custom object hasn't got anything so if I hit run now what that will do is it will go through set our custom object to that variable and then if I open this you can see that I've now got an employee ID of 12345 a name of Flojo city of Vancouver and a country of Canada and lastly a salary of 5,000. So that is how you create a custom object in Power Automate Desktop. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.